Welcome back to Chicago Car Club. Today we're going to be looking at our really super cool 1979 Pinto Cruiser Wagon. Um, this is a factory spec with the decal kit, porthole side windows. This was the coolest of the Pintos um, from 79, in our opinion. I'm going to take you for a quick walk around. Actually, it's going to be a little bit of a long walk around, show you everything we can see. Try and point out all the flaws and, and put our input where we feel necessary. <clears throat> this car is pretty well loaded up with options. Um, the rear louvers, the, obviously the decal kit. This is the cruiser wagon. It's got the upgraded interior. It is a four-speed manual. We're just going to take you through here. It's got a little bit of superficial rust on it. I'll try and point it out to you. But original decals, original paint, kind of moving you around. It's lived most of its life in Chicago. It was a one owner until we bought it, I believe, from the second owner. But it came out of the estate of the original owner. We've got some paperwork dating back to the 80s on it. But as you can see, all intact. All these body lines are nice. Hood's nice and straight. The cowl, the tops of the fenders look good. All the paint matches there, obviously. We don't believe it's been painted. A couple little nicks here on the rubber side. It's got the upgraded wheels. I'm just trying to show you. You can get a feel. Little spots of, of superficial rust inside the wheel well. window trims. It does have the pop-up sunroof, which was an option. That side mirror was an option. There's a dent in the door there. Looks like somebody might have dropped the bike on the car. A couple little scratches on the decals up on the side here. But these are the original decals, and honestly, um, that shows that the car's probably sat inside most of its life. Um, these decals are pretty well preserved all things considered as far as color goes. It was originally bought new from Joe Madden which is a uh, Ford dealer in the Chicagoland area. The sticker is still on the back of it. Had a trailer hitch somebody put on it. I don't think that was factory but pretty cool. A little bit of rust you can see here by the tail light and this back right corner seemed to be I don't know if it was where it was sitting in the garage seemed to get the grunt of any any rust issue as you can see on the bottom of the quarter panel here, there's some bubbling and kind of up and around a little bit. Uh, you'll also notice when we open the rear trunk um, that there's some rust from some water that was sitting in the trunk there. Again, <clears throat> decal kit looks good. It's consistent from left to right as far as it hasn't been sitting in a sunny spot where it would fade one side more than the other. The portholes are tinted, which was an option. I'm going to open up the rear here. You can see the back seat is in its up position right now. That carpet's in good shape. It's actually got new carpet in the interior. Um, we've got a bunch of paperwork and some service records, manual type stuff, um, original brochures. Nothing too in detail about the car and mileage, but, but enough that we know what we have. So we left some of those old boxes in there pretty cool. You can kind of see... Through here looks okay, but as we get up into the, the rear hatch, it looks like there was probably the drain holes were plugged on it, and there's that inner panel is pretty rusted there. We elected to not fix it. You can't really see it much from the outside, but definitely noticeable uh, when looking at it like that. Again, the interior, it's this orange full vinyl interior, which is really cool. Inside. Show you inside the door jams, the panels, as you can see, very original, some superficial rust, there's some normal wear and tear up on the top of the door where your arm would be, all the handles and hardware are nice. The driver's side seat's got some blemishes on it, it's got some tears. <coughs> see again we elected not to do anything the carpets were replaced in it before we bought it 
but this is the original interior and it's in very nice condition. The headliner is nice and tight. All the lights are functioning. Three pedals, a little four speed. Awfully fun to drive. It's not fast, but it's enjoyable. 82,000 miles on the working odometer. It does have air conditioning. We have not attempted to get it. I, I don't even know if we've tried it. I'm just assuming it doesn't kick on, but. Take you around to the passenger side. Same thing here, show you the door jam. A little bit of superficial rust here and there. Original decals up there. Always nice to see no overspray on them. That's your original door jam. Again, the door, same as the other side. A little bit of superficial rust at the bottom, but it's solid. Here we got it running. It's got a little bit of a, a at low idle. At low idle, it's got a little bit of a shake, which we think probably is just a motor mount or a rubber mount that's that's cracked or broken. Um, could be in the trans mount. We're not sure. We didn't really look at it too hard, but do want to note that. The old Pinto for a ride. It stops nice. Clutch feels good. Get up to speed, the four banger. So we've got the car up on our lift now. I'm going to show you the rockers and take you around. The rocker panels are, are surprisingly solid on it. Um, again, some superficial rust here and there. This is a new fuel tank or a refurbished, coated. Um, you know, it's got normal scaling rust and stuff. Again, this corner seems to be the worst where. I don't know if it had water coming from, sometimes the sunroof drains went down the back there. Not entirely sure, but again, the rocker's nice and solid. This is a front wheel disc brake car. It's got the upgraded rack and pinion ratio for the wagon. I'm just going to show you around. Nice and solid in the unibody. Everything looks good and safe. We don't see any repair jobs on it. Hands are all solid. Car stops and drives obviously well. Again, new fuel tank. But everything's here. And uh, surprisingly uh, decently preserved. Given it was a Pinto of the late 70s. So that's our full review of the car. If there's any questions or any anything more you'd like to see or hear about, please feel free to give us a call or text at 312-420-3696 or at our email address, chicarclub at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.